Hello crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I am waiting for everyone to log on. We are is so excited about tonight's card. We have a swing card or what they also call a pop-up card. So you can call it a swing card or you can call it a pop-up card. And that's what we're gonna be creating tonight. We're gonna create two of those. And so if you are watching the rebroadcast, Monty and I love to read your comments. So make sure that you comment along. Uh, we just love to read them. We were just waiting for some people to hop on because we kind of had to go through a whole nother uh, broadcast. And so we are waiting for them to hop on. And um, like I said, we're going to be making two cards tonight. Now, let me show you the card that we're going to be making. See how this is a pop-up card. Look at that. I can see my sister. She says we are live and we have some people that found us. Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go, Melissa. Way to go, Phyllis. We are so excited that you joined us and kind of worked through our technology issues. We also have Carol and Penny. And I'll tell you, in the crafting community, are we not experts at dealing with technology issues? We certainly are. <laughs> we have an absolutely fantastic tutorial for you tonight. So, okay. So I want to go down to the crafting table and I want to show you this card that Maudie and I made. Now let's see if I can do this right so that I don't mess it up. There we go. Now look at this. Okay, do you see how... This is a top fold card. Look at that. All right, Sandra, let's get started. <laughs> okay, now I want to warn you. I was told in a comment that my voice is kind of loud. And so make sure you are close to your volume button. If I get too excited and I get too loud, just please turn me down just a little bit. <laughs> I've been told that before many times. <laughs> okay, we have um, Lori from PNW. It is live, Lori. Now, what exactly does that mean, PNW? If you could let us know, that would be fantastic. But look at this card. You see how it swings out? Look at that. Oh my goodness, Maudie and I just love this card. Now, Maudie, hey sis, if you would please take a moment and go ahead and pop in the chat room. We actually have another video that opens it up portrait like this and not top fold. So you'll want to check out that video just in case you're interested and making sure that it opens up like this, okay? So we are super duper excited. So I am going to go ahead and head us down to the crafting table. And I'm going to put my little picture up there. There I am. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes I make our screen go black, right? Okay, that's never a good thing. But it's so funny, I look at what you can see on the screen and I'm so amused because if you could just see everything outside this area, you would say, my goodness, you are messy. <laughs> okay, let's get down to business, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is make a top fold card. And the measurements for that are 11 by four and a fourth, and we score it at five and a half. Hey, there's Polly from North Carolina. So welcome, welcome. So happy you joined us. Now, I want to remind you that all our measurements will be listed over on Creative Moments by G. I don't do an extensive blog. I really use the blog for just the measurements and the supplies. But you get what you need, and then if you have questions, you can always watch the video, right? Hey, Phyllis, aren't you a sweetie? <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Okay, Lori from PNW. I don't know if you told us what PNW means or not. We have Bobby. Oh, we have a bunch of people here. So the first thing you need to do is make your top fold card. And the next thing you need to do is decide how you want to cover the front of the card. Now, let's talk about this card for just a second. You might ask yourself, why am I making this swing out card? Well, let me give you a couple reasons. Hey, Pat from Alabama. The reason you want to make a card like this is it really frames this area right here and it makes it a focal point. So if you have a stamp set that you really love, like I love this bee, he just makes me crazy, he's so darn cute. I want a card that really focuses on him. And this swing out or pop-up card really does that for you. So that's why you want to make this card. And I want to remind you, if you make one of our cards, would you please post it over on Facebook? Because Maudie and I learn from you as much as you learn from us. But let's go ahead and lay down this first mat. Now, I want to show you. On this particular card, I'm using the entire body of the the card right i'm not making this a first mat i'm going to go ahead and cover the entire card because look how beautiful that is is that not beautiful paper now you probably ask where do you get that paper winter meadow it has some absolutely beautiful paper and if you haven't checked it out you need to do that because it is so so beautiful so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and lay this down on the top of our card. Now, I am prepared for tonight, and, and I hate to almost say this, all, for all the mishaps. So in case this glue doesn't work, which I absolutely love, barely art, well, I have my Tombaugh. And if Tombaugh doesn't work, <laughs> I have my tape runner. Do y'all ever feel like this? that you're working with your glue, it's not working, so you have to go get your tape runner. I feel like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep my fingers crossed, and I'm gonna use this Barely Art. And I'm just, oh, look at that, it's working good. I'm loving it. And I really love this glue because of this long extended tip. And it comes with it, so I'm loving that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to lay this down and make sure it gets all lined up just like this. Now, I'm going to put my little uh, needle right back in there. The next thing we need to do on this swing card is go ahead and cut out our frame. Now, I am using this fantastic stitched frame. It has little uh, borders around it. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up. And the way I line it up is I make sure that I have the same distance on the sides and the top. So let's look at that. So I'm gonna get me some tape. I'm gonna just get this lined up as straight as possible and just put some of this tape down. Now I don't know if y'all are familiar with this tape or not. Let's see if I can find it for you. This highlighter tape is absolutely fantastic for holding down your dies. We love it. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Hey, Annie. So happy you joined us. I'm going to bring in our boss. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to add this to our sandwich. Now, let me give you a little hint. Sometimes this DSP is really thick, and so we add a shim. And by a shim, I just mean a piece of paper. It's not thick, but it's just enough, right? It's just enough to get it to cut through. So let's go ahead and see how we do. Let's, let's, let's offer, as someone would say, let's offer this into the boss. And let's just crank it through and see if it doesn't cut through. Now, I'm going to go ahead and back it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, Melissa, you are so right. I absolutely love the DSP that they have given us this time. 
Now, before I take this out, I'm going to flip it over and make sure that it cut through. And you can see that it actually cut through. So, I don't have to worry about it. My shim worked. And so, I would just recommend you, if you, if you find it's not cutting, go ahead and just grab you a piece of cardstock and put it in your sandwich and then offer it into the boss again and you'll see that it works. Okay, now let me see. I'm gonna pop this out. Let's see here. Take off this beautiful tape. Okay. And let's see what this looks like. I'm excited to see it because I haven't created it yet. Oh my goodness. Hey, Brenda. So happy that you're with us. Woohoo! We got a lot of great people here tonight and we appreciate you so much. Now, I thought I saw a piece of tape, but I guess not. Okay, so here we have it. There we have it. Now, the next thing we need to do on this card is let's make the inside mechanism. So we need to grab us a piece of cardstock and we need to cut it nine and a fourth by four and then we have some score lines. So let's get our score lines going. We need to score at two and make sure that you have moved your cutting blade out of the way. I can't tell you how many times <laughs> I have cut my card instead of scoring it. Does that happen to anyone else or am I the only person who does that? So we're gonna score it two, four, and six. So we're moving it over to four and we're moving it over to six. And like I said, we're gonna be making two cards tonight. This one I'm creating, it's a Christmas card. And the next one I'm recreating a beautiful fall card that Maudie has designed. Okay, let me show you how to fold the inside mechanism. So we have a large area right here. This area is large. Go ahead and put it to the right hand side. Fold over, bring in your bone folder and let's give it a good crease. Okay, let me straighten that out. It's driving me crazy. Now fold back and fold under. We're gonna just fold this one under and give it a good crease. I know that's strange, right? Don't worry, it's gonna be perfect. Now, let's look at this real quick. These two areas right here, we need to create some kind of DSP or cover because you're gonna be able to see these. So look what I did. I went ahead and I took some beautiful starry sky and I ran it through the embossing folder. Do you like that? Oh my goodness, I love that cane weave. Love it. I'm going to lay this down right here and right here so you can see exactly where it goes. So let's go ahead and grab our glue and let's see if I can get the glue out. Yes, it's working great. I love it when my glue works. <laughs> Gonna lay this down, making sure that I have the borders just right. There we go. And Monty and I saw this card. We've seen so many people do it. And like I said, we've actually done it, but we created a portrait card. This is a top fold. And it really does create some interest. We love it that it's a completely different way to look at it. So now let's just go ahead and add this to the inside of our card and let me show you the trick to do it. Okay, now this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna open this inside mechanism or inside card open and we are going to get it lined up and make sure that we have the border on both sides and look at that. We are going to put glue, but we don't want any glue to be right here, right? So we are going to add our glue right here in a U shape. 
So this time, I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner. And I'm just gonna put some tape right there. I'm also going to put it down here and then right on the side. That will give us our U shape that we want. So, and we're going to make sure that it's butted up right to the score line and we're gonna fold over. And that's all you have to do to create the shelf. How cool is that? Give me a thumbs up if you don't think that is cool. I think that is so cool. Look at that. We already have the first part of the card. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Okay. Now look how easy the second part of the card is. So we have our inside laying like that. We're going to fold this over because we need to put glue on this side right here. So go ahead and bring in your tape runner. Just add some strips of tape and lay it down and go ahead and close it so that you can get it exactly the way you want it. What do you think about that? Give me a thumbs up if you aren't as excited as I am. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I love this. I love it when you have cards that look like they are complicated, but they're so incredibly easy. Okay. Okay, so look, here we go. We have our little shelf. And now all we need to do is decorate this inside. Now, let me show you what I have done. Because, okay, where is that? Let's see if I have it somewhere. Anyway, wherever I, oh, here it is. This is the largest that I have in terms of a square frame. So I had to create my very own frame. And I'm sure you know how to do this, but let me share it with you. Okay, so you'll take a piece of paper. Let me see if I have a piece of paper. Let me see. You'll take a piece of paper. You will go ahead and cut out a frame just like that. You'll just cut the inside out. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> And then you're just going to line up and you're going to make some cuts to create your own frame. And that way you can create whatever size frame you need. You don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, I don't have the right square or die, right? You just go ahead and cut it out and then cut around it to increase it so that it's a frame. I, I love that. I hadn't really thought about it. And then I thought about it today and I'm like, oh, I love that. So let's go ahead and just get that frame down. So I'm gonna bring in our silicone mat. Where is our silicone mat? Let's see. And you might ask, why are you bringing in your silicone mat? Well, I don't wanna get sticky, icky glue all over everything. So I need to make sure that I have this turned the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some tape runner glue on it, turn it. Turn it, and turn it one more time. Okay. And now I'm just gonna add this frame. Okay, we're just gonna get that right there and lay it down. Now look at that. See how pretty that looks? Frames are really amazing. They add such interest to the cards and so I think frames are a great way to really go ahead and focus on a particular area. So now you're probably wondering what are we going to do with this card? <laughs> okay, we are going to grab these inks and we are using Starry Sky, Balmy Blue, Garden Green, and Old Olive. And we are going to, let me show you, use these beautiful trees right here. And you know what I like about this set is that the dies cut out the big tree, but there's one that cuts out a smaller tree using the same tree and then cuts out an even smaller part of it. I love that. We're also going to use Rocking Horse because I love this Merry Christmas right here. 
And we're going to use horse and sleigh because I want to put some snow on my little square. So let me show you how we're going to do that. I really love stamping these trees. They're so pretty. Now, I learned something new in our last live from everybody, from y'all. You were telling me that the reason it didn't stamp is it had a bubble in it. Well, that kind of surprised me. I'm like, a bubble? But anyway, you were right. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and take the ink to the stamp. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm putting it on this squishy kind of pad, which allows me to push it. So, let's go ahead. Now, I can see some bubbles in there. Let's see if this squishy pad really helps me out. So, I'm just going to push down. And look at that. This mat really does help. I haven't used it before, but it really does help me, and it gets rid of those bubbles. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab the definition of the tree. And this time I'm gonna use Garden Green. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna add this right to the front of my tree and push down. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? But wait, there's more. <laughs> you are going to love what I did. I used some sparkle kind of glue. And when I cut out my trees, I just added that sparkle. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now I got this sparkle because you're probably all going to ask, where'd you get the sparkle? I got this from the Paper Pumpkin. The last time we did Paper Pumpkin, they gave us that kind of uh, stuff. So that's how I got it. Okay, so here we have it. Now, I cut out two trees. I also cut out a Merry Christmas. Oh, Tisha, I'm sorry. We had a, a technology issue, of course. And so we had to, uh, I don't know, what's the football term? We had to punt <laughs> and we had to do something different. So thank you so much for finding us. And I just want to take a moment. Monty and I appreci everyone, appreciate everyone that came to watch us tonight. We know that you have so many choices and there's only so many hours in the day, right? So we, we hope that we inspire you and uh, we show you lots of different things, possibilities, right? Now look at this. We told you that we used the, the horse and sleigh. Look at that. We stamped that in balmy blue and then we added that glitter. And um, Wink of Stella, Sandy is so right. Wink of Stella works on that as well. But this actually gave it a raised, kind of a raised look, loving it. So what we're gonna do here is we want it to go just like that. So we're gonna add this right to the center. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up just a little bit like that. And um, then we're going to add this to the outside. So, the liquid glue is barely art. Now, it is listed in our Amazon store. If you're interested, you can also go to Amazon and just get it. Barely art. Oh, I'm telling you, we absolutely love that glue. Love, love, love it. Okay, so to decorate it, we're going to open it up, and we're just going to put this right here. Now, I want to show you it one more time how we do it. So we're going to add it right like this. Because remember, it needs to come through. So you can't make it bigger than this opening. Okay? So we need to make it just like that. So I am going to put some, let me see. I'm going to put some dimensionals right here at the bottom. I'm just going to keep them at the bottom, the, the last third of it. And we're going to take the backing off and we're going to place it exactly where we want it. 
Okay, and I want it kind of right there so that when you open it, here it is. And now look at what we're going to do. We're going to add this one to the front, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Because this one doesn't have to move. So I'm going to add it down just a little bit. Woo! I'm loving this card. Maddie and I want to invite you, if you haven't been over to our TikTok, or if you're TikTok and not Instagram, or whichever one you are, we put our shorts, our reels over there as well. So we have some great tips and tricks for you over there. Look at that. What do you think about that so far? Starting to look good. You open it up and look at that. Oh, I'm loving it so far, but we're not done. No, no. We are going to put, now, we can put Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to put some mini dimensionals. Let's see if I have some. Yes, and I have my... Take your pick tool, so I'm just going to take those off. Put this right here. Because I want to get to our second card. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now I'm going to shut this. And I'm going to put Merry Christmas right here. Making sure that I do not close this window anyway, because it won't open if I close it. Now look at that. Look how pretty that is. But, oops, 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 I knew I forgot something. Okay, hang on. I knew I forgot something in all the excitement. Okay, let's see if I can take this off. I can, I know I can. Okay, okay. This is my snow, so I need to put this right here, okay? So I am going to put this right like this. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> we only want the glue down here. So I'm just gonna put some tape. I'm gonna slip this in and I'm gonna line it up. I knew I forgot something. Okay, now I'm going to slip this in. Oh, that looks much better. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I need to. And you see how this opens up right there? There we have it. We have our card and we have our little tree. It, I think it needs to be dropped down just a little bit. Let me see if I can take that off. I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, I'm working with it. I'm working with it. There we go. Okay. Now we're talking. This is a very important part. Now we open it up and it opens up perfectly. Look at that, so pretty. But we're not finished yet because you need to add something right here. This is perfect, yes, but how much perfect, how much better will it look when we add a little bit of uh, blue and then we add that? Now, isn't that much prettier? We like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just add some tape. Now, if you are watching the rebroadcast, let us know what you think about this card. We would love to know because we know that our people who are watching us live are commenting with us and we just appreciate all your comments. It shows YouTube that we're doing a good job. Hey, Judy, you made it. Fantastic. <laughs> So you didn't have to suffer through all our technology issues. Okay, look at that. What do you think about this? What I like is I love this paper. Now, I don't have uh, the other one, but you could even add the paper that has more area down here. But I wanted this to look like snow. So that's why I left it. What do you think about that? So let me know, what do you think about the first card? We have plenty of room to write. Beautiful top fold swing. Now we are going to move into our other card. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my 
What you do is they send you this long needle right here and they want you to keep it right here in the glue so that it doesn't get stuck. Okay, now make sure that you stay with us because I have those two other cards to discuss with you. So let's look, oh, you know what? I think I want to put some little, little rhinestones. Let's see, where can we put these rhinestones? Let me see. I think I want to put them like maybe right here. Hang on. One there. And one here. And then one here, just to give it some interest. There we go. There we go. Now we can say we're finished. And we open it up and there's plenty of room to write. <laughs> okay, so we have Felicia, we have Blanky, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna move into our next card. And our next card, we are going to use Rustic Crate because you know, we still have November to get through, right? So we still have Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know we've kind of all moved into Christmas, but you know, come on, Lana, let's stay a little bit with Thanksgiving. So we're going to use that. And we are going to use pumpkin pie. And Maudie and I, we were laughing so hard because we were like, okay, this card has pumpkin pie, pecan. Is it called pecan pie? What is it called? I think, I think it's called pecan pie. And we're like, well, dadgum, we're hungry. <laughs> so we're going to use pecan pie as our card base. And then we're going to use very vanilla. So let's go ahead and find our DSP that we're using. And look at this. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Loving it. Now this is cut to be a first mat. Remember the other one went side to side, top to bottom. But this one we're actually gonna cut as a first mat. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to use our tape runner. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to leave this area blank because I don't wanna get a lot of glue on that because we're gonna cut it out, right? So let's go ahead and lay this down. Look at that. I just think that is so pretty. Look at that. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab from the stitch dies, we need to grab the circle. And really the circle that you use depends completely on you. What are you going to put in the circle? You need to make sure it's big enough so that uh, the little flap goes through it, right? So let's once again, Bring in our boss, and let's fix our sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it just like this. I'm gonna get this the same distance from here to here and here. So I'm gonna drop it just a little bit. I'm gonna tape it. And I'm going to put a shim in it because I wanna make sure that it cuts. Now, you may not need that shim, but for some reason, we need it. So, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and use it. So we're going to go ahead and just put this through and then I'm going to bring it back. Just bring it back through. That way we get two runs through and we keep our fingers crossed that it works. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look at that. We can tell that it actually worked because you can tell it's gonna pop out. So we're going to go ahead and very carefully pop this out. We're gonna save this for later, of course. We're crafters, right? We save all our scraps. And we're just going to take this off, just like that. Now look at that. So easy, right? This is not a difficult card, but oh my goodness, it makes such a statement. 
So we have our inside mechanism cut. We're gonna bring in our trimmer and we are going to turn it long ways and we're going to once again score at two, four, and six. Making sure that we have our cutting blade out of the way. Two, four, and six. Okay, now let's review how we fold it. This is the larger panel, so we're gonna put it on the right-hand side. We're going to fold to the right. We're going to fold back, and then this score line right here, we're gonna fold under. Bring in your bone folder and really give it a good score. Okay, now remember, when you unfold this, we want something right here because these are shelves and you can see them in your card. So either select some DSP or some embossed cardstock, which is what we did. We went ahead and used that cane weave again and we embossed some pecan pie. Look at how beautiful that is. Cynthia, oh, we're so happy. I'm so sorry you had a rough day. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Dawn, welcome. We're so happy that you're here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in, oops, I dropped it. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat because I don't want glue everywhere. And I'm gonna make sure that this is turned the right way and you can see how it's turned. So let's just go ahead and put some tape on it. I'm gonna use my tape runner. I'm gonna get this centered. Make sure it's centered all the way around. There we go. Add my tape runner. You can always count on your tape runner, right? <laughs> okay. How is, is, I just have to ask while I'm doing this, is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? Is anybody doing anything special? Our brother and his wife are coming and maybe some of her family. So we're gonna have just a small get together. We would love to know, what are y'all doing? Anybody going out of town? We have a very, like I've said before, we have a very small family. Okay, now let's look at how we put this together once again. You open up your inside mechanism and you put this right to the score line. Put it right against the score line, making sure that you have the same border on the top and the bottom. Okay, now you can see how it lays down, right? So you only want to put glue in a U shape. So it's really best to go ahead and use your tape runner because you can just put one strip right there and fold it over. Hey, Linda from North Carolina. We're so happy you're here. Now look at that, see? We already have our little shelf created. So quick, right? Now we just let it naturally open up just like this. Make sure it's lined up right, just like that. And we fold this back because this is where you wanna put your glue. So go ahead, use your tape runner or your adhesive, whatever you wanna do. Fold it over and then close it to make sure that it folds exactly right. And if you need to go ahead and crease inside there, go ahead and do that. And look at this, look at that. Works perfectly every time. Okay, I wanna take a moment and read these wonderful comments. And if you are watching the rebroadcast, let us know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. We wanna know. Oh my goodness, Blanky's going to Puerto Rico. We have uh, a new daughter-in-law, grandmother's house and her family. Oh, I just, I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays because the families get together and 
make memories and Kodak moments, right? <laughs> okay, so we have the inside of our card. Now, the next thing we need to do, which I'm not going to forget, is let's go ahead and just lay this down. We know that we want to go ahead and double mat it. So let's just take care of that, and that way we don't have to worry about it, right? Let's just get our sentiment laid down. Super easy. And remember, all these measurements will be listed over on creativemomentsbyg.com. Not to worry. And we're just going to add this right here. Making sure as much as possible that we have the same border all the way around. And you know, doesn't that make it look finished? Hello from Canada, Betty Boone. So happy that you're with us. Oh, we're still not back to normal, but we will be. Oh, Cynthia, our prayers are with you. They absolutely are. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, we stamped that beautiful sunflower. Look at that. And we are going to color it. And my goodness, do we have some blends. Look at all these blends. <laughs> so we are going to color this. Now I want to put down, I'm going to go ahead and just put down my silicone mat. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So this is pumpkin pie. And this is dark. And this is light Cajun craze. Interesting. Uh, I'm not seeing my pumpkin pie light. I'm trying to see over there. Um, hmm. Oh well, I think I'll go ahead and just do the dark. And we're just going to color just like this. Gonna go around. And you know, I like to use the brush nib. And the reason I use the brush nib is it goes a lot faster. And it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Now, we can actually go in with this pecan pie, and I can go over these areas that are kind of for shading. And look at that. Gave it some definition. See how easy that was? Okay, so now I'm going to color the flowers and we're just going to bring in, just going to go over them with the, I'm going to go over with the dark and so that you can see how we do it. And you know what we do is we color, we stamp these and we color them and then we keep them inside our stamp set. How many of you do that? And then we're so happy when we open up our stamp set, we have one already colored. <laughs> we love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just color this, this right here with my brush nib. Okay. And then I'm going to color my corn with a lighter color, just so it kind of stands out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to color the husk a little bit different color. Now I'm going to go in with this ivory. Have you used this ivory? Okay, I'm just kind of looking. You know what I love about our crafting family is we are all so supportive of one another and know that we love each one of you and, and we're just all so supportive. I just love that. So I'm going in with this ivory and I'm going to color the corn husk just to give it a little bit of color. And look at that. Look at that, looks so pretty. Okay, and now we just need to color this pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. And, and color the leaves and we'll be through. I'm gonna just get a little bit of the leaves. 
and there we have it. Now by the magic of the video, <laughs> look at this. We already have it colored. And look at, we added little rhinestones right in the center of the sunflowers. Love that. Oh, so our Canadian friends celebrated Thanksgiving a month ago. <laughs> well, okay. That's funny. Now, let me see. We cut out a pecan pie circle to fit right here. But now I want to remind you that when you go to glue this down, you only glue this bottom part right here. If you glue it down completely, your card's not going to open. So that is probably the most important tip that I can give you on this card. You're going to go ahead and we're going to just put glue right here on the bottom part. Now I'm going to bring in that Barely Art and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here. That way I can move it around. Get it exactly where I want it. Make sure it's not up there, it's just down here. And then look. You see when you open it up? It's very important that you don't put glue right there. Canadian Thanksgiving is in October. Ah, love it, loving it. So there we have it, just like that. Now. Yeah. We want to go ahead and put a beautiful frame. So we used our circles and we cut out a frame just to give it some more interest. Now you don't have to do that, but we really like to just kind of add some interest. So we're just gonna add a little bit of glue right here and add a frame. You can keep it simple and not do that, but wait till you see what it looks like. I think you're gonna see that it really does add to it. Look at that. See, just really makes it pop, right? So the next thing we need to do is add this. Now this is tricky because we, Madi wanted this and so she had to make sure it fit. So we need to make sure that when it, this comes up, it opens up just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna try putting it on dimensionals. Now, Maudie might be saying, don't do it, don't do it, but I just want to try it. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll just lay it down with glue, right? <laughs> so everybody hold their breath. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I'm making sure that this fits. Okay. Oh, still goes through just like that. And where is that? Where is that? Oh my goodness, I have to find it. Okay, here it is. In that stamp set, it has this cute little crate. Look at how cute that is. We're gonna open this up and we're just gonna put the crate right there. Look at that, so pretty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there so I can glue him right to the sunflowers. Let's just make sure this fits. Now look at that. What do you think about that? We're not done yet, but I just want to show you. How pretty is that? Look at that. And you open it up and it showcases the beautiful sunflowers. Look at that. You close it. Now I'm trying to make sure that I got everything. The next thing we did is we stamped Blessed beyond measure. Look at that. So pretty. And we're just going to put this right here. We're going to add it on some dimensionals. And we are almost through, crafters. Oh my goodness. Now, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, make sure that you do that. Madi can drop that into the... Um, chat room because we give PDFs and we're not going to write this one, but we give other ones that you might be interested in. So we're going to go ahead and line this up. Okay. 
Look at that. And we have our inside. We just love this crate. This is so cute. Look at that. Look at that crate. So cute. Now the key to this is making sure that you don't accidentally glue that down. So you want to make sure your people do not do that. And I just want to see if there's anything else I need to add. I don't think. So let's take a moment and let's look at what we have. I'm going to go ahead and put this needle back in there. This pin. Okay, so I showed you, here's the one that we created. Of the two that we created tonight, which is your favorite? Take a moment, leave a comment, let us know. Whether you're watching the, re rod re the rebroadcast or you're with us tonight, let us know. Of the two that we made, which is your favorite? Okay. Now I want to show you the other ones that we created. So let me go ahead and just get rid of me. Now I showed you this cute little bumblebee. He is just so adorable, right? We put the little honeycombs right here. But if you're looking for something a little more elegant, look at this beautiful one. Oh, is that not gorgeous? We have our beautiful star. We have that beautiful glitter paper. Look at that glitter paper. You open it up. Look at that. Wishing you the best and brightest holiday season. So of these cards, let us know which is your favorite. Now we're looking at four cards and we would love to know which is your favorite? Oh, Carol loves them both. The favorite is the trees. Oh, I'm loving it. Here in southern New Mexico, we don't have a lot of snow. So just to imagine the snow and what it would look like. We're just loving it. <laughs> both, you don't want either not to feel the love. Oh, I love that. We're going to feel the love. Oh, my goodness. So true, so important. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Well, crafting friends, Monty and I thank you so, so much for spending your time with us tonight. We hope that you were inspired a little bit with this swing or pop out card. We love it. And I want to remind you, go ahead and check out that other video because it's a portrait swing card and that may be more to your liking than a top fold well monty and i wish you a fantastic thanksgiving we will not see you our next time will be november 30th and that will be on a thursday at 7 p.m and we look forward to seeing you have a blessed thanksgiving and we will see you on the 30th good night everybody